Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore mirror join tool. Uh, we have this tool here in the skeleton section. This tool is used to uh, mirror the joints on the opposite side, uh, suitable for the characters. When you have created joint chain for one side of the body, the other side can be mirrored using this tool. So I've just created a, a leg joints. Okay, this is the root joint I've created. The name of this is root joint. And then we have left hip joint. Then we have left knee joint. Then we have left ankle, left ball, left toe. And also I've created the IK handle, left IK handle one, and then left IK handle two. Okay, they're not relevant, but uh, just created for the sake of the example. So I'll be creating one plane for you to understand here. Uh, this plane is a just a, for the demonstration purpose. This plane is uh, kept in the center and uh, I want this uh, joint to be mirrored across this plane. So I need to know which plane is it. I mean, um, this plane is having uh, width and height, right? So if you see the width is the blue color, the Z axis and the height is Y axis. So I call this as Y Z plane. So if I rotate this like that, and then this is X Y plane. So I, I, I get the joints mirrored across this. Okay. Uh, so uh, in this case, if I have to mirror the joint from this side to this side, this plane is uh, Y Z plane. So I'm going to select this joint here, not the center one. I'm going to select this one. I'll go to the skeleton and uh, mirror joint options. So firstly, as I told mirror across which plane, it should be Y Z plane. Okay. Y Z plane. And next thing is uh, we have behavior. We have two options. Uh, uh, mirror function has got behavior and orientation. So let's keep behavior for now. And there's a nice option here called search for and replace with. So when you have uh, this joints on the left side, when you create on the right side, the naming convention of that is really important. So as I shown you, the name of this joint is a left hip joint, which is LT. So I'm going to say search for LT and then replace with RT. So left and right. Okay. So wherever left is there in the total hierarchy will be replaced with the right. And the mirror function is behavior. Just apply it. I should be able to see you got uh, the joints on both sides. And uh, we have uh, uh, the joints uh, as right hip joint and the IK handle as right IK handle. Okay. So uh, what is uh, the uh, behavior and orientation? Let's see. I'm going to delete the IK handles uh, for the sake of demonstration. So I'm going to select these two joints and then choose a rotation tool. So I'm going to rotate this uh, one side and you should be able to see um, the, the ankles are rotating on the opposite side here. Okay. Even that happens for the hip. Okay. That's rotating on the opposite side. This is uh, behavior. Now, if I select this one and then go to the orient joint, sorry, not orient, uh, mirror joint. And then if I choose the orientation here, and then when I rotate this, the both joints will rotate in the same direction. They're not in the opposite direction. You can select the joint chain, select hierarchy, and then go to the display and then enable this local rotation axis. The orientation of all joints are same on the left side and the right side. They are same. OK, so I'll switch off them and delete it. I'm going to select this and then uh, go to the mirror joint option and then choose behavior. And then I'm going to select the hierarchy and then enable local rotation axis. And you should be able to see here the x of this left side is facing down and here it is facing up which is the opposite side of that so when i generally rotate these joints in x axis they twist in the opposite side and uh, uh, the yz plane is something really guiding this orientation here okay so that's why only the x is actually uh, flipped on the opposite side if you have chosen something else for the uh, mirror plane you should have you would have got the other axis uh, mirrored okay 